Hi, I'm Andrew from Sandland, and uh, with me is the Complet Crocodile Slow Speed Shredder. It's a multi-function machine that will take waste, mattresses, landfill waste. We'll do tyres, but its real strength lies, I believe, in recycling concrete, which is why we're here today in Vernon Development Yard with their pile of concrete, looking at what it can do for concrete recycling. The Crocodile Slow Speed Shredder is powered by a 220 horsepower Volvo Penta engine with Danfoss motors and Bravini large gearboxes. Controlled by PLC, it ensures that it's an easily operated machine in that if anything uncrushable goes through it, the hydraulic fluid pressures peak and it backs off and goes again until either the product passes or it gets thrown out without causing any damage to the machine. So the Crocodile has two shafts, which in programs involving going forwards or backwards in preset or user-determined ways to make the product go through and give the correct output that's wanted for the application that it's doing. After it's been through the crusher, the, the machine does have a magnetic separator on it to pull out any rebar. Also, because of the way the machine works, it doesn't have the same problem like a jaw crusher in concrete, the rebar can go through the belt. Because the shafts deflect the steel, it is bent well before it gets close to the belt, so it doesn't pierce it, but it does get thrown out in small sort of 300 millimeter sections out of the side. To facilitate the larger pieces of concrete going through, you can rest them on the back of the hopper. The hopper is hydraulically tilting so that it can then push that material into the slow speed shafts. For versatility for an operator that's not full time in concrete, it does come with a second set of shafts that have got sharper ends on them for doing wood, mattresses, tires, and those other kind of products. That involves about a two hour change and eight bolts and an excavator to lift to move them in and out movement and the hopper functions and also the magnet moving up and down is facilitated by the remote control which is an Autec crane remote similar to what you'd see on most cranes or other other remote crushers. The crocodile only weighs 14 tons which means that it's very very movable. It also tilts all the way down so it lowers the center of gravity for a very secure load on transport. At the rear of the machine there's also a hook suitable for a hook lift so for an operator that uses bin trucks in demolition or waste processing you can actually pick it up with a hook lift truck and take it where it wants to go so the crocodile is a little bit different to a crusher that uses a lot of wear parts blow, blow bars in impact crushers or jaw plates in jaw crushers the crocodile has shafts that are actually refurbished and doesn't have wear parts you re-hard face the concrete shafts and after a period of years on the wood shafts, you might tungsten carbide edge or replace the pointed hard ox uh, teeth. Apart from that, there are really no wear parts within the crusher apart from the rollers on the conveyor. The Crocodile is suitable for any business that's really looking to deflect material, divert material from landfill. With the rates of landfill cost now, this machine pays itself off very quickly. If you consider it can do over 100 tonnes an hour on concrete, if you consider the tipping costs of that 100 tonnes, then work that back to a payback for this machine, you'll find the maths don't take long to add up. If you want to know more about the Crocodile, please either give us a call at Sandland or look us up on sleq.co.nz.